Welcome back, guys. My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We are not at Sand Hollow today. We are out at a new spot. I've been here before. You know, I don't know what its name is. Why don't you guys help me name it down in the comments below? It's tons of white sandstone, so it's a familiar terrain. It's tons of fun. There's tons of small little ravines and cracks to straddle and climb up both sides at the same time. Right now, I'm messing around with my 2.2 inch stretched wheelbase, rear wheel steer, Capra with dig. So let's get out there, hit the rocks, have some fun. So one of my favorite things to do out at this location is that there are all these small little cracks to follow. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of pick one and follow it along and try and stay balanced the whole time. And there are a ton of spots where it has like turns and kinks and changes in direction. And then I try and keep the truck directly over the crack the whole time. So it really builds skill. It's a ton of fun. And then up on top of a lot of these formations, they have these low spots where water will collect and gather. They're covered in dust and man, they make perfect dig spots. Rear end just pivoted right around and then we can follow that crack right back down. And again, trying to keep it balanced as we go. Myself, try not to fall over and film. I am driving one-handed, that's why I'm not using the rear steer right now. Rear steer is two-handed controls on my controller setup. Gets it all twisted up, it's a ton of fun. This little capper does great out here. Now the biggest difference between this location and where I normally go, Sand Hollow, is that the uh, rock is basically a little more chalky. It breaks up a little bit easier and uh, there's a little more dust under the tires on some climbs. So as we get up to something steeper, a lot of the times the ledge will kind of chip away a little bit and it really makes traction tough. You can see the truck slipping and sliding as we go. But it is still sandstone and it does hook up pretty well. Those 2.2 Pitbull RC Braven Berserker tires. Let's get a look at those. Yeah, those things are sweet. Gotta love all the little tricks this capper has. This, this is the angle I need. Let's try this again. Get her standing up straight. Oh yeah, that's that's a good shot right there. Lock in your dig. Ah, roll back. We'll get her to pull itself back up. There she goes. Oh yeah, see that wrinkle? Now put it in four wheel. I'm just bellying out a little too hard right here. It's a really sharp breakover angle. Another trick on this big unit, you can lock them in to help you with descents. Basically loads up the back end and helps keep the suspension loaded up. Another thing you can do if you have a fast enough servo, you can wiggle yourself down on a steep descent. Try not to fall off this little cliff side here. Ooh, there we go, a little precarious.
All right, guys, let's see if we can't get ourselves a sweet little line here. So we'll hook up a couple obstacles along this route. Turn left and follow this track. We're straddled up pretty good here with a little ledge on the left side. Got a climb on the rear right. And then we're gonna drop off a ledge. Not too bad. Okay, now this spot, it looks like there's a line to the right and a line to the left. The line is right up the middle. The other two are just a little too tall and steep for this Capra. And it even likes to flip over where it's at. Just gotta give it just the right bump here. You just kind of roll into it, not necessarily a bump. And then work your way right. Keep slipping up and down, and then it should go about here. Here we go. Now, this brings us up to an awesome little notch. See if we can get this ravine going just right. Got to keep the tires balanced. What I'm mostly doing is using the front axle to put the rear axle where I want it. My front axle can be sideways 98% of the time. I really don't care. I want to keep this rear axle as level as possible. Obviously, it gets really tricky when the walls start to change and move different directions. There we go. The rear axle is still level. Following it, chasing it. And cut left. Keep in mind, I'm driving one-handed. That's why I'm not using my rear steer. Now we're just going to come up to this. I'm off my line a little bit. I need to cut it further right. And there we go. That's the line. That was a pretty fun little combo of obstacles right there. Nice controlled descent. Let's offset the rear. There we go. We're done. Well, guys, obviously out here on these rocks, I could make these videos hours and hours long. I don't want to bore you to death. So I'm going to cut the video off here. I greatly appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what I think I should name this place. I don't have any idea what to call it. Nothing that's appropriate anyway. Uh, I will link all the stuff on this capper down below. They are affiliate links. If you buy the products through there, they do help out my channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.